Monique here, and welcome to Read Across America. Today's book is Way Past Mad by Hallie Alderman. Let's get started. Nate messed up my room. I was way past mad. Then he fed Axe my breakfast, so I ate toast. I hate toast. He even ruined my favorite hat. I love that hat. Mom said, Nate's little Kia. He didn't mean it. Now I felt really mad. I flung open the screen door and called bye, but my family was too busy to hear me. I headed to school kicking rocks and sticks as I walked, kicking and kicking and kicking. I was way past mad, the kind of mad that starts and swells and spreads like a rash. I stopped to fold down the top of my sock to cover the hole where my skin peeked through. That Nate, he must have cut that hole. Wait up, my friend Hooper called. But this morning, I wasn't going to wait for anyone. I ran. Wait up, Kia. I looked back at Hooper and ran even faster, like I was the best runner in the world, racing, leaving all others in the dust far behind me. The crowd roaring, calling my name so loud as I crossed that line without Nate messing anything up. Then I'd stand tall wearing brand new socks and a gold medal like sunshine around my neck. I ran and ran, but the sidewalk was crooked. Ker thunk. Stupid sidewalk. You okay, Kia Hooper asked? Do I look okay? I sass, pointing to my knee. But Hooper wasn't looking at my knee. He was looking at that hole in my sock. The hole that felt everywhere. I stood up fast. Leave me alone. What? Why? Because I don't like you, Hooper, which wasn't even true. But my mad made me say it. My heart sank. I knew I ho hurt Hooper's feelings. I watched Hooper head towards school, kicking rocks and sticks as he walked, kicking and kicking and kicking like he was way past mad. He was too far away when I whispered, I didn't mean to give you my mad, Hooper. But he actually, but like he actually heard me, Hooper stopped for a second. I don't know why. I just know that I was glad he did. So I called Hooper, Hooper, wait up. But he didn't wait. I called again, please Hooper, wait up. He looked back at me, but then he kept on going, running up our favorite slide, calling out to Skitter and Jen. And I didn't want to be way past Matt anymore. I wanted to be with Hooper. I ran toward him like the best runner in the world, and I didn't care which way my socks flipped or if Nate was messing things up at home. I just cared about reaching Hooper and saying, I'm sorry, I like you a lot. After I said it, I felt better, and Hooper didn't look mad. He said, I know, come on. And I told him about my morning and how mom and Nate didn't mean it and how I didn't mean it when I hurt Hooper's feelings. Then we joked and laughed. I was so happy. The kind of happy that starts and swells and spreads like a smile. We turned the corner and headed the right way. Together. Thank you so much for listening to my story, Way Past Mad by Hallie Alderman. And thank you for coming to Read Across America. Bye.